finally, after years and years and decades, the DS mouse and keyboard control scheme is here. Oh my god. I'm gonna do a whole full video setting up everything you need to know about Metro Prime Hunters right here, right now. 2024, by the way. So happy New Year's and whatever. I'm gonna start it off right away. Once you get Melon DS or whatever DS emulator, but I use Melon DS because I trust it the most. Config. EMU settings, go to DS mode, and you're gonna have to find the DS firmware and the BIOSes. I can't supply the link, I can't supply the game, you gotta figure that out by yourself, it's not that hard to figure it out. Put the files to where they belong. Once that's done, you open up the game by going up here, file, open ROM, or open recent, and the game is started. Look at that, beautiful. So we're gonna start off first with a how to get online. Multiplayer mode, Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, and configure Wi-Fi. Once you're here, Nintendo Wi-Fi connection settings, go to the first one, and as you can see, you have this right here auto obtain ips is set to yes as usual and auto obtain dns to no because you're gonna want to put these primary dns and secondary dns in this is the custom server that fans have made once you put all this in test connection just to make sure that it's actually gonna go online connection successful safe settings bam jiggity bam now you're online for any ds game the system will shut down that's okay don't really matter just come back up here and open recent to make sure that it actually works and that you're actually going online i like to go to nintendo wi-fi connection find game as you can see it's green right here if you're able to get past this screen that means you're online and you're just ready to play and it's pretty fucking sick when you're going online you're gonna want to set it to worldwide just so you have a better chance of connecting people even though there's literally like zero people online most of the time um there's this website right here we we whatever that says <laughs> And you could check how many people are online. Let me reload the page, actually. Because now that I'm online, there's one person online. If you ever want to check to see if anybody's online, just come to this website. It'll show the number right here of how many people are online. Every time you exit online mode, you're going to have to restart the game. Because if you try to connect again, it just won't work. Yeah, as you can see, it turned green and then it turned red. It's like confused or something. I, don't, I honestly don't know. There's a couple things that need to be done right before you get the controller set up. You're going to want to go to input and hotkeys. A couple buttons you're going to want to set up for the program that helps use the ds controller mouse and keyboard emulation those buttons are going to be x to spacebar l to n and r to m and that's it all these other buttons you can set up to wherever you wish bam here we are ds fps mouse fix and go and click ds fps mouse fix right here it'll download once you open the file it'll look like this you're gonna want to extract the file and put it like wherever you want i have it over here where with my other ds things so there's a couple things i want to discuss before like actually open up the program a control list showing like the controls for like each button right off the bat you're not gonna know what buttons press to like switch to this this or that weapon here is the list of buttons it's coordinated through like this input virtual key codes or whatever if you want to change your input you got to go to this website let's say i want to change the zoom button to f you scroll down until you find whatever key you want in this case i'm talking about the f key and i want to change the zoom button to f key copy this ox46 bring it over here place it i'm not going to change it because that's set up to the right click on the mouse actually and once you have it all done just file save and it'll just save as your control i'm going to show you guys the program what you're going to want to do is double click obviously ds fps mouse fix once this is open you see all these other games you could play beautiful i want to play these two actually click metro prime hunters and then start it's going to show a red screen yep once this red screen is on you're going to want to click the bottom left corner of the touch screen and then the top right corner of the screen and then bam just a little bit of sucky things if you go off the screen then you'll stop like moving for a second so the mouse could like readjust itself and stuff that's like the only downside to using this program it's better than dragging the mouse with a uh, left click pressing and then like having to unclick and then readjust it and then you know you get that all that shit so and if you're like not a mouse and keyboard player and you want to set it up with the controls i would say you should still use this program you could still use this program with uh the steam controller setup thingy honestly it's really delayed uh the controller schemes and shit uh on steam if you set it up with like the controls to your mount from your mouse and keyboard if you set that up to the controls on your controller then it will just be like playing on a controller and it, it honestly i i haven't tried it yet but it honestly it's probably going to be a lot better than uh than my last videos of uh, how to controller set uh how to set up the controls and stuff what's cool about this control scheme is that it's set up for like every like input in this game almost every input some things like pressing okay while you're in the ship i don't think works and when it comes to things like that they added a way to get out of like this lock mechanism which is pressing right shift click and then your mouse is free to do whatever and once you press it again then it'll go back into place show it off again go here metro prime hunters start go to the bottom left corner of the screen click top right 
click, and then you're set to play. Got him, the fuck? Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be cool to see people hitting clips with this shit. Like that. Actually, one thing I wanna say, in case like the programmers for this uh, program is, are watching, there gotta be a separate button for, for the boost ball, because it's not fucking easy to use the mouse to boost because obviously if you're playing with uh, a ds then you have the the stylus to just boost like that but like you like you see like me trying to readjust my mouse fucks up the movement of the ball and shit it's kind of annoying join the discords i'll leave links in the description there's always people active on the discords wanting to play metroid prime hunters this discord and this one i'll put both of the links in the description like i said and yeah, that's about it um hopefully you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe obviously um we'll probably i no promises I do want to stream the game again soon. No promises, I'm a busy man, unfortunately. <laughs> so, yeah, stay tuned and thanks for watching.